Thank you. Today is where it all happens. Hopefully, by the end of March 19th, we will all have caught our first giant trevally of the trip. One reason why I'm feeling so good at the moment is because today, back in the States, which is March 18th, there's such a huge time difference. Today is my grandmother's 100th birthday. So, no way. Yeah, I know. Great grandma or grab? My grandmother. So if you guys, uh, if you guys could drop a little happy birthday, Grams in the comment section below, she'd greatly appreciate that. She's an awesome inspiration to me, and um, she actually took me fishing when I was a kid, so she helped kind of get me to where I'm at today. Didn't take me GT fishing, though, I mean, just, <laughs> just bass fishing. I'm really feeling optimistic about today, being that it is her 100th birthday. Hopefully we catch a GT for every single year she's been on this beautiful planet. I love being, not only here in Komodo, but being here with these guys, chasing after fish, that, um, I mean, it drives us nuts. I'm gonna smoke this crepe. Dude, it's so fire. I know, it's so fire. And uh, get you on the water. So good. Fishing? Yes. GTs. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we've just boarded the uh, GT <laughs> Express. Next stop is a boat, and then after that, boat to the Indian Ocean, and then my popper in a GT's face. Hey, hey guys, guys, we don't have a gaff anymore. We got a net. <laughs> you guys remember that? No, that was, that was a beautiful moment for me. My second GT ever and I killed it. Or I didn't kill it, they killed it even though, you know what? It's behind us. I think I might start with this one right here. We've never fished in Komodo before. I've never targeted these specific GTs. So we have a lot of learning to do. He missed it. He's got it. Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Oh. <laughs> she was pinned for like a millisecond. I felt her, her noggin. I'm starting to get the hang of this now, guys. You just kind of got in the rhythm. I don't know about you guys. I'm starting off real awkward. How about that, guys? Got the first strike on the stick bait. I just got to get the rhythm here. I feel like I totally could have caught that fish, but I just froze. I didn't set the hook. I was just like, oh, God, what do I do? Next spot. Spot number four. That's a zinger. That's a zinger if I've ever seen one. There we go, hooked up. What do we got here? 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 It's a fish. Oh. I don't know what it is. It's a fish though. Oh. Little bonita. Mackerel. Ah. Talk to you. I got a funky looking GT on the end of my rod right now. I have no freaking clue what the hell this is. Bonita, or mackerel, tuna? I don't know what it is. She fought good and hard though. Cool looking fish. I've never caught one of these before. Video it's a GT. Tuna, baby tuna. <laughs> no GT? No. Little baby tuna. Look at that. <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? We've got the first fish out of the way. Unfortunately, it is not a GT. Not a bad fish. All catch and release here in Komodo. There he goes, he just released himself. The virgin jeet snack is no longer fresh. Look at this thing, it's so beat to crap now. And that's just with one little tiny fish and a few blow ups. I can't imagine what this thing's gonna look like after we just smoke some more jeets. That was cool, man. It just feels good to feel tension on the end of my line. I don't really care how big it is, what it is. You got to start somewhere. That's something I always advocate when out in the water, no matter where you're fishing, you gotta start somewhere. 
bombs. Just bombs. Bombs with no results. Oh, there's one. There we go. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. GT. Is it a Jeep? You see it? It's a Jeep. <laughs> Woo, baby. Ah. Woo, baby. Get in here, you little Jeep mongrel. Yeah, baby. Skunk is off. That is what we came here for. That species right there. Oh my God. What a freaking beaut. Yeah, little GT, little GT. Ah, I got him. <laughs> nice silver blue GT. It's croaking. Can you hear him? Give him a little kiss. Look at that. We've knocked the skunk off, boys. Just after that little bonita, crank this guy right here. Aren't they such cool fish? They look like Jack Cravalli, but they're blue. They're way meaner. And I mean, they get a thousand times bigger. This is not the size we're looking for, but this is the fish. Mark my words, we will catch more. Look at that. <laughs> All right, ready? Back for the release, one kiss. Mwah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh, buddy. Little ones get you jacked, man. Woo! That was awesome. Yeah, that's so freaking sick, man. Guys, let me break this down for you guys. Look at this rod, this is a 7-8 rod, I believe. It's a big rod, big meaty stick. Basically the spinning version of what you'd use for musky. I know it's kind of a, a analogy, but that's the best way I can describe it. Use an 8,000 size Saltiga, big, big saltwater reel, big hooks, big baits. That fish pulled just like everything out of this setup. Started with a Bonita, smaller GT up next, hopefully. It's a big bulldozer, but man, I, that's, that's freaking awesome. Everyone needs to catch one now. As Peric would say, it's time for your what? Your favorite part in the video, midday update. Oh, midday update. It's halftime here in Komodo. It's been kind of, honestly guys, not to sound like a Debbie Downer, it's been a quiet morning. Like it's not been how I expected it to be, but that's okay. We've still got a lot of daylight left. It's only 12 p.m. Two blow ups for this guy, one blow up for this dude, and then Dice also had a blow up. I messed up the most. He had a, just a ginormous GT. This thing, I've never seen anything like this. First of all, I don't know anything about GTs, and I barely fish with them, but I've personally never seen like this. It porpoised up almost like a, dolphin. like a dolphin would. And I was like, that can't be a GT, but the, the, the dorsal fin was so distinct. I was like, throw up there. I threw up there, Peric was in the front. He got a really good angle on this fish. Boom, 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 dead silent. Fourth or fifth plop, this thing goes, boom. Line goes, D -d 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 -d. pops him off. They crush. Annihilate, I think is a better word. They annihilate the popper. So we're still headstrong. We're just gonna get a little grub in us, you know? Oh, so grub. We're going back out on our <laughs> Done. You guys, we just took a fat run. That was almost an hour we clocked. This island is way bigger than I thought. We just drove pretty much the rim of it and uh, we've made it to spot number. <laughs> Drum roll, 12, 13, I don't know. I'm kind of losing track at this point, but we made a haul to get to this area. Still throwing the lucky micro spooked, the 100 gram, 100 Gs. Oh, there we go. There we go, come on, come on now. Come on now, come on now. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, what the f That was a big blob. Oh, there he is, there he is. Got him. That's it. There we go. There we go. Woo, baby, come on. Yes. Oh, oh, that's a GT. That's a freaking GT, boys. That's a GT. Come on, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. She's got spunk. Oh, yes. That's a good one. I think it might be like 40, 30 maybe. Blue. There she is. Ooh, buddy. <sighs> nice GT. Nice GT. Yeah. This right here is a Komoto GT, giant Trevally, man. Not only fun to catch, but in my opinion, they're like so freaking pretty. Look at their pectorals. They look like an airplane. Anyway, <laughs> I'm geeking so hard right now. <laughs> Badass fish. We're gonna get a few release shots and then uh, catch some more, hopefully. This big beautiful cheat. There she goes. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome, guys. Oh my god, I'm pooped. I'm so freaking pooped. You guys need to help me out here. Let's catch them. What the hell is going on? 
Jesus. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Hey, it's a team effort. If not for our guides and our deckhands and everyone else and Perrick and Sammy, Sammy S behind the camera and Sammy D up there just being good moral support. None of us could catch any GTs right now. Team effort, man, and that was just, oh, that's exactly how I want to start off this Komodo trip. Thank you. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> that was Holy <laughs> smokes. All of us, everyone in this car, or maybe, I don't know, maybe you're, have you caught a GT before? Oh, yeah, many times. Look yeah, at that. Many everyone times. in the car has caught a GT before. How about that? Sam caught his first. Sam caught his first. Perry caught his first. Second. 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 In, or first Indonesian. First, in, first yeah. Komodo Island special. I caught my first Komodo Island. Oh, how about that? And hey guys, you're going to hate me for saying this, but I'm kind of glad we didn't open them up today. Imagine if we all caught yeah. like 80 pounders. No, I like how we, it ended. At it the would have been so there. pointless like yeah. for the next two days to fish. Yeah, it was sick that I broke off on that giant. Yep, sick giant. Hey, it's, yeah. a, it's a foreshadowing sport. moment. Listen, in, in what movie do you ever see the punchline, the end, just start right in the beginning? No, you're okay. You, you know, there hasn't been a movie like that, and maybe there should be. What, The Life and Times of Perrick? <laughs> Air was them. Yes. That's the word I was looking yes, for. Nailed exactly. it. Thank you. Nailed it. Okay, so we're heading back to the hotel. Gonna get some, uh, I don't know, bintangs. bintangs. That's the only thing I'm in the mood for right smoothies. now. Smoothies. Sorry, smoothies, bintangs, maybe some... A uh, shower. A shower, definitely. Fat, shower. Fat showers, uh, lush bintangs, and some scrumptious food. It's next on the list. GT's check. Day one. Day, day one. Nice. Day one. Complete.